Good morning guys and what is up? It is an extremely warm morning here in Virginia. I'm in shorts and a short sleeve shirt because it is like 66 degrees in February. It is really crazy and I think it's going to be like 30 tomorrow. <clears throat> but that's Virginia for you. The reason we're up here so early, I'm getting ready to head to work. But on my way to work, we're going to drop the truck off to get the exhaust done, as I promised. So I wanted to do um, the last cold start with the Flowmaster 40 here for you guys. And then uh, we'll hit the road and take this thing over to the shop. did like this exhaust system i mean it, for just the flowmaster 40 i paid almost i think it was 113 dollars almost five years ago to have it done and it's been the exhaust that's been on this truck for up to five years and really it sounds it still sounds fine but uh i'm excited to get the true duels put on in the x pipe so it's uh i think it's a little bit before seven right now I gotta head across town. Thankfully, a coworker is gonna pick me up. I'll pick the camera back up once I get it to the shop. All right, guys, <clears throat> just got here to the shop, and I'm gonna leave them the keys to the truck, and I'm gonna see if they might have it done on my lunch break. If they do, I'm gonna come pick it up. Uh, I don't know how much time I'd have to fit, have, would have the film if they do get it done, but I will do the video this afternoon, this evening, when I get off work, uh, picking it up. We'll do the cold start. <clears throat> um, well, we'll try to do one, depending on when I get it. Uh, exhaust overview shoot show you guys what got done how much it cost me what it sounds like and <clears throat> I'm definitely really excited because exhaust was the first thing I ever did to this truck when I started you know modifying it and everything and um, it's been that's kind of it's almost the kind of the reason I've left it alone because it was kind of sentimental that it was the very first modification I ever did to the truck was the Flowmaster 40 but it's time to do something different um, the trucks the truck looks nothing like it did when I first got it anyway so you know change it up make it look good do something different so I'm really excited so uh, I guess I'll see y'all here in a few hours alright guys so we are here to pick up the truck thankfully Michael and Justin picked me up from work I got off early and I guess that's it sitting over there in the lot Big shout out to Perfection Muffler here in Roanoke for doing it for us. But there she is. Oh yeah, I'm excited. I guess we're gonna go inside and get the keys and we can do the first startup. All right, guys, Michael's getting in the truck right now. He's gonna start it up. steel tips they are four inch and actually i kind of wish i would have went with a five inch and we still might change that up but right now i am i'm pretty happy with that we got that rusty hitch sitting there but oh yeah it sounds awesome all right michael give it about three thousand Give a four thousand, five thousand. Lord, they pop some crackers. There's the man. Thank you. Oh. Definitely won't keep that just in case we uh, do something else to some other truck. But oh, that sounds awesome. Well, 
we are, I'm gonna go take it back to the house and I will roll it back into the yard and I'll get under it and show you guys how the pipe is run, the X pipe and everything on how they did it. So I'm excited to go take it for a drive. All right guys, so I'm riding here in the truck right now. I'm riding here in the truck right now at <laughs> Justin trying to snap pictures for Instagram. Um, it is louder in the cab than I thought it was going to be. Um, I, you know, there you go. That's just it's about 2,000 RPM right there. And you can probably hear that on the camera. It's definitely louder inside the cab than it was on uh, my buddy Paul's truck. But I think that that has part to do with the X pipe that is under the truck now. I think that is what's resonating the sound under um, underneath the truck, which is making the noise which you're hearing on the camera. I think it sounds awesome. I really do like it. Um, the vertical will be out going up and down the interstate, you know, how bad the drone is, if it does have a drone. Uh, as far as power pickup goes, it feels actually a little bit more responsive. Um, if you're familiar with exhaust systems, X-pipe X pipes do actually create a little bit more horsepower than doing just a traditional bank to bank or, you know, H-pipe. Uh, H-pipe H -pipe actually makes horsepower over just two separate banks as well. Um, the best video if you ever want to know the reasons why engine masters motor trend does a show called engine masters they engine dyno an x pipe and an h pipe and just true dual exhaust and show you the horsepower gains on both of them but um i the it really sounds awesome uh, we're warmed up now and i've been driving around we're i'm gonna head out here we're actually gonna go to um we're gonna drive down the road here so i can get under it and show you guys the pipe how it's laid out and how it was done so you know if you're interested in doing this to your Silverado or what, whatever you've got then you kind of know how they're gonna lay it out underneath the truck and what it'll look like and of course what it'll sound like so uh, I just wanted to drive around here on the truck and give you kind of an idea of what it sounded like inside of the cab but I'll pick the camera back up once I get somewhere where I can get under all right guys, so it's like the day after I got this done and I was inside editing the video and uh, for some reason the footage messed up where I was under the truck and showed what the exhaust looked like under the truck. So I came outside this morning because I figure I'll get under here and show y'all because I definitely want that to be in the video. So, all right, there's the X-Pipe and we will start up here. All right, so here's the two catalytic converters. Like I said, they're still intact. Here is where the factory Y pipe would have been, where it would have went from two pipes to one pipe. Um, we left, we cut that off, and you can see where the new pipe runs. So you've got maybe a foot, foot and a half of pipe, and then you get to your X pipe. Cross over there, keep on running back. The two pipes run parallel pretty well all the way back here. Here's the drive shaft, here's where the pipe's at angled up so it can go over the axles the axles got plenty of room to travel and not hit the exhaust pipes and once it goes down it curves out and dumps the passenger side and over there dumps the driver side so it's two and a half inch piping with the x pipe no muffler um straight back from the motor but uh so you know right after the motor no muffler with an x pipe it does sound really good um, i'm very happy with it so um, that's really about it. So there you go. That's what it looked like if you decide to get that done. Um, I appreciate you watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. If you've got any questions, let me know down in the comment section below, as well as on Instagram. You can follow me at Austin04 underscore Z71. That'll be down in the description below. Feel free to DM me. Um, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day.